Hello everyone, hey cruisers. <laughs> I have to say it, hey cruisers. We're here. Happy holidays. Welcome to December to Remember. We decided spontaneously a few days ago, of course, you know us, that we wanted to go live once a week all throughout the month of December. We can't do daily vlogging this time of year. Things are way too cray cray. But we can certainly commit to the same time, same bat place, every week so wednesdays are the day we're going to be talking about cruise memories we're going to be looking to the future we're going to be talking about vaccine news we're going to be answering cruise questions we're going to be doing all the things together and what makes this kind of special is that there is always going to be one of these live streams on wednesday for 30 minutes starting at 5 15 pacific and then at six o'clock over on amazon it's the after party because we are now live streaming on Amazon. It's called Amazon Live, and it's this really crazy cool new platform where you go and you pick a list of gifts and you show them in this rotating carousel thing beneath me while I'm talking exactly like this in the same set and everything. And we talk about gift ideas and products and fun things we love on Amazon. So I have just linked to our broadcast that is going to happen immediately following this one tonight and that is going to be the schedule all Wednesday so you can count on us every Wednesday evening for YouTube first and Amazon after. What do you guys think about that? What do you want to see on Amazon? Tonight we're specifically going to show you about 30 stocking stuffer ideas. So if you click on the link I put in there you can look and see what's in there now. Of course don't leave YouTube, stay here with us but if you want to open it in a new tab you can see but tell us what kind of gift ideas you would like to see. Before we go much further, I would like to wish a very happy birthday to Cheryl in the house. Cheryl is in the chat. Mike and Cheryl are dear friends. Friends to many of us are here, and we are just so honored that Cheryl decided to spend her birthday with us. So happy birthday. Cheers to you. I'm drinking water. Um, just so y'all know, because we don't have any secrets here at Cruise Sips TV, I'm going two weeks without any alcohol. I'm on day three. It's not fun. <laughs> I really would prefer to have, as Jim Ring said, a little rum in my mug for this, but I'm dedicated to doing it because I was like, you know, over the Thanksgiving weekend, I had a cocktail every single night and I just realized it's time for a little reset. Um, I'm not going crazy. I don't do New Year's resolutions at all. I don't believe in them. So I thought, no, let's just have a healthy break, reset the post Thanksgiving eating habits and just take a little cocktail break until next Saturday, which is like the 14th or the 12th or something like that. So nothing too crazy, not a full month, just two weeks. If anybody wants to join me, you're welcome to do so, but absolutely no judgment if you want to make cocktails for these. So tonight and next Wednesday, no cocktails here, but after that, it's going to become cocktail party central for three weeks following that. And we're going to do a really fun New Year's Eve week that Wednesday. We've got a great live stream surprise coming for you guys. I know you're going to love it. I feel like it's going to be the best way to say goodbye to 2020. We're all ready to say goodbye to 2020. Uh, Bear Bull Cruising said a little rum, rum, rum in my tom, tom, tom. Yeah. Hey, Natasha. Good to see you here. Oh, Steve said water there only as well, at least until you get the results of your COVID test. Yes. Hoping for the best for you guys. Hope you're doing okay. Mache Tessier said, thanks to your Amazon storm videos, I picked up several Christmas gifts already. Mache, what did you buy? We'd love to know what you got. But yeah, it is a really fun thing to do to, um, to shop together over there. It's really different and unique. And the cool thing about it is Mr. Cruise Tips TV and I, and let me take a sip, I'm kind of thirsty, sorry. We tag team the lists. So you get two different perspectives on what we think is cool. A lot of the items we own, some of the items we don't, but for example, today on the stocking stuffers, I added the first 20 and then he sent me a whole new list of his own 20 or 30. We went through them together and then we mushed them together. So we have, um, you know, a combo. John B has a proposal for me. John B said, can we do cocktails on Fridays? John, I will very seriously take that under consideration. Is that a corporate answer or what? <laughs> Of course, of course, at least we're going to do it at least some of the Fridays. How's that sound? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of down with that. Is it that you don't want to do cocktails on Wednesdays or John, do you want to add cocktails on Fridays? Explain yourself. 
Talk amongst yourself. SVC a lady said, cute top, thank you. It's actually a dress. I often say that to you guys. Often a dress. Oh, and I forgot, this is my birthday dance for Cheryl. A little curtsy. Hopefully you guys can't see the fact that I'm wearing Ugg boots with my dress. But that'll be our little secret. <laughs> John B said, I also vote on another cooking show. You are killing it. Thank you so much. Yeah, so um, what John is talking about, guys, is that on Chris, excuse me, on New Year's, no, it's been a long week. Thanksgiving Day, we cooked our sweet potato casserole on Amazon Live, and it was really fun. And I feel like, um, I feel like it was really unique and different. We don't do a whole lot of cooking on our channel. So that was great. If you want to see all the replays, go to our Amazon storefront, amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash cruise tips TV. Did I say that right, Mr. Cruise Tips TV? And they're all at the bottom of the page. Um, but you know what? I'm going to link to that fun cooking one because I, I don't see why we shouldn't do that. Why not? Why not? Queet Beat said, I'll definitely join you. We all need a re uh, reset sometimes. Queet Beat, thank you for joining me. That is awesome. Yeah, let's take a little breather. We'll take a little break. Why not? It can't hurt. I'm missing it. My bar cart is tempting me without a doubt. I sure miss it. But um, it's okay. You know, if, I think if you, sometimes when you miss something that much, you need to take a break. Okay, so the cooking show is now in the chat. So you guys can see, it, we actually did it live in the kitchen. And it was fun. It was, um, we used a lot of our kitchen tools. We had a few mishaps. It was great. Ms. Mary is here. Ms. Mary, it has been a long time since you've been around for a live stream, but it's so wonderful to see you. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is awesome to have you here. Ah, so let's all take a moment. If anybody had a cruise canceled today, oh, Norwegian or Royal Caribbean, I just want to say I'm sorry. I know it's not my fault, but I am sorry. I acknowledge that this is very painful for everybody, and it was just not really uplifting holiday news that we all wanted. I think we all to some degree expected it, but we didn't want to hear that it was coming, that you know those cancellations were going to go through February. So huge bummer. I'm sorry. I hear you guys. I'm bummed too. Really, really, truly am. John said about the drinks on Friday, I'm flexible. I just feel more inclined to have another drink on Friday than be responsible on Wednesday. Okay, I like it. That's kind of how I'm thinking too. Absolutely. Oh my gosh, John Crickmore. Good luck, my friend, with your surgery. We'll be thinking about you. That is stressful stuff, especially during the holidays like this. Whoa, Mr. Joe Mock in the house with a very generous super chat. Joe said this is for Sherry and Mr. Christopher TV. Joe, did you sneak in here just to do a super chat? Did I not see you in the chat before? Thank you so much, my friend. And I hope you had a wonderful birthday as well. We've had a lot of birthdays in our community this last week or so. Thank you, Joe. You're a sweetheart. We appreciate you so much. Thank you, Natasha. I'm glad you like my dress. Natasha, I wore this dress to the... um to the carnival panorama naming ceremony with tights and boots because it was about a year ago and it was very cold in um, Long Beach. Was it Long Beach? Long Beach or yeah, Long Beach um, that night. So I needed to be kind of cozy. It was really nice. Oh, Amy Rogers said carnivals also removed all of their cruises from their website for January and February. Oh, huge bummer, Amy. I know. I mean, it, it, they can't do the test cruises that fast. It's just not possible. They need more time. But um, we know that we have vaccines coming soon, guys, and it's really starting to look like that's what's going to change the face of this for travel and just for everything. Um, you know, I was reading today that the potential schedule of having everyone in the country, I guess you could say in the country, I mean, probably in the world, really, vaccinated is by summer, pretty much. Um, there's different schedules for priority. First, Priority being um, healthcare workers and, gosh, people in assisted living homes and things like that. And then we move on to, after that, you move on to people who are over a certain age, but particularly over 75, I know they want to focus on, and then they'll kind of take it down from there. Vivian said, last week, my rescheduled cruise from last year got canceled again. I know it's, it's like Groundhog Day. When they start getting canceled more than once, it's crazy. 
KB in the UK says, hi guys, looking good streaming into the UK tonight. We are hopefully cruising on the brand new Odyssey early April. Hope it goes ahead. At least the Pfizer vaccine has been approved in the UK. Awesome, KB in the UK. Thank you for that update on the Pfizer vaccine in the UK. And thank you for catching us. I'm not sure what time it is over there, but I'm assuming it's early morning. Really early morning, isn't it? Melanie Simmons said, hey, hey, great Wednesday surprise live. Yeah, Melanie. And you can catch us here every Wednesday night through the month of December. So five weeks in a row. We're doing it. It's going to be great. 5.15 p.m. Pacific every Wednesday. And then we're popping over to Amazon right afterwards. It's going to be so much fun. Um, Laura McCarthy said, at this point, how are the cruises even holding on? It's breaking my heart. I certainly hope I don't have to tell my grandchildren about cruising as a thing of the past. You won't, because when this all happened, all of these cruise lines went into financial emergency mode to free up liquidity that would last them for a full year. They knew full well that they could be out of service for a year, and that's what's happened. So know that for the most part, I think that they're going to be okay. There will be you will see increased cruise prices. There will probably be some casualties, but I, I, cruising is not going to be a thing in the past. Captain's Table MDR said, dig in your blue KitchenAid mixer. Beats our boring silver one. I love that thing too. I wanted that so badly. So when Santa brought that to me, you can imagine I was a happy girl. I, Captain's Table MDR, I took months to choose which shade of teal I wanted. It was really funny. Wait, Joe Mock, you can't super chat twice in one night. Joe Mock said, this is specifically for junior editor. Merry Christmas to all and God bless us everyone. Oh, Joe, you're so precious. Thank you. Santa Claus Mock tonight, bringing it in. I think Junior was going to pop into the chat, so he might be seeing this, Joe, and thank you so much. Hi, Brenda. I know. I'm sorry about your cruise. That's all I want to say. Glad you're here. Glad you decided to come see us, even though I know it's hard. Andy Lee said, you look young. How old are you? Andy Lee, I'm one of those people that doesn't care when people ask my age. I know a lot of people find that question to be inappropriate. Personally, I don't. I just turned 47 on October 31st. So I was born in 1973. So I'm 47 years old. So what do you think, guys? Are we going to do a big, fancy, crazy cruise when I turn 50? I think we are. Big, fancy, crazy cruise, right? Larry Glynn said, waiting for my FCCs to get credited so I can rebook our 10-day Caribbean cruise for March 2022. Ah, Larry, that is tricky. That is tricky. And it's hard to be patient. It's frustrating when you're in that situation. I completely, completely understand that frustration. Joe Jr. is in the chat so he can personally... Thank you for the super chat tonight, Junior. You need to thank Joe for the super chat. <laughs> John B. said, your Santa really gives you the hookup. Yep, I have a very generous Santa. Yes, I do. It's true, you know. I don't know. So I'm worried about Santa this year, though. Santa might be feeling a little bit broke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, you never know. Santa's got limited resources, you know. Um, Junior, when... Um, we were starting to talk about all this. He was like, I want to go to the North Pole. He's like, can't we go to the North Pole and see how everybody's holding up? And Junior, I don't know if you remember this, but you did say this to me like a month or so ago. You said something about the fact that the elves were most certainly at, you know, at their workstations, but they were all six feet apart and wearing masks. <laughs> so cute and funny. <laughs> oh, hey, Cricket Fox. So good to see you. I'm glad you made it. <laughs> Linda, you're funny. You never know, Linda. You just never know. Oh, my gosh. Leslie Johnson said, thank you for all you do. I can only imagine how you've been affected by all this. Thank you, Leslie. It has been very difficult for us. But there have been silver linings and there have been blessings along the way. Yes, it has been a major impact on our business, Cruise Tips TV as a business. But when we started doing this, we started it because we loved what we were doing. We loved hanging out with all of you guys. And that still, that feeling is still the same, if not, in, you know, even more strong because of what we've all been through together. So I think it's, it's also taught us to be still and calm and, um, you know, we have a roof over our head, food on the table. I have a job that is stable enough and we've pivoted in some ways. Mr. Cruise Tips TV has done an incredible job of pivoting on the Cruise Tips TV side of things. Our website being the biggest example of that, it was 
it was almost, it was a thing last year, but it was nothing like it is now. And he has poured his heart and soul into that project. And it has been a wonderful time to get that done. So there's been silver linings, but thank you so very much. Oh, junior editor said you're leaving out the part where the elves already have a vaccine. He did tell me that too. He's like, mom, the elves already have access to that. Don't you know? Like I should have known this, which I think is probably true. So yeah, Joe said we canceled our 2021 Royal Alaska and can you believe it? Changed to a princess cruise tour in May of 2022. Coral princess and medallion. Here we come. So the reason Joe is saying that you guys is because Joe is like total Royal Caribbean cruiser. And so for him to go on princess mellow, older demographic, it was like a big shift for Joe. But I think you are going to love it. Fallen said, how many ounces is in your mug? Um, Fallen, it is just water because I'm not drinking for two weeks. But I want to say this is a 14 ounce Yeti. And this is actually in one of our shopping carousels over on Amazon. I love this thing. It's brand new and I'm super stoked about it. It's fantastic. Um, oh, Robert Brown Jr., we have almost the same birthday. Whoa, you are about two months my senior. Flintstones 2000 said, how long have you been married? We got married in 1998, right, sweetie? So we've been married for 22 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 22 years of marriage. Wow. And we, we finish each other's sentences now, too. Groomer Girl Bruno. Hello. Nice to see you. Groomer Girl Bruno says, you are right. Count your blessings. Yeah, you have to. Every single moment, we just acknowledge the fact that people are struggling in so many complex ways. And, and you know, we can't highlight our own struggles. We can't, we can't pout and mope and feel sorry for ourselves. You just can't. It's not right. The right thing to do is to protect others, stay as close to home as you can. At least we think so right now, right? Like we have not left our state since February. Um, and just learn to be calm and patient. And that's what we have done. Paul said, would you ever do a mobile on the road show? That would be extra cool, eh? Paul, that would be cool. Yeah, we'd probably do something like that. We just haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> um, Paul, tell me more about what you mean specifically, and I will try to uh, answer that question more specifically. Melanie Simmons said, North Pole, Alaska road trip. I know, we would love to go to Alaska. I would just absolutely love to do that. I really, really miss it. Um, <clears throat> Yatubik said, 22 years. Oh my, any tips for successful relationship other than cruising together? Oh man, I know, right? I think what my husband and I do is there's a couple of different things, right? I think the first thing that's important to do is always think about how you can make that person's day better without them even asking you. So when you wake up in the morning, right, what can I do to make his day better? Is it maybe making lunch? Is it, you know, sitting down and just having some quiet time together over coffee? What is it? And to proactively start your day from that place makes life really, really different. Um, and I think also too, one of the things that we've learned because we've been through a lot of difficulty, a lot of difficulty in our life, um, is that when things get bad, right? When, when a couple has a struggle, you have a choice. You can handle it one of two ways. You can work against each other, right? Or you can work together. And sometimes it's very tempting to bicker and to criticize one another, but to, when someone's at their very worst, to examine what does it look like to not meet them there at their worst, but to like rise above it and to be able to approach them in a way that's like, I know this isn't really who you normally are. I'm so sorry that you're struggling. What can I do to help? Instead of accusing them of being a certain way or whatever it is, you, ha you can't push against each other. You have to work together. And even when that is not comfortable, I think that's what you have to do. So anyway, just some, just some random thoughts since you asked. Leslie Johnson, thank you for that cute little super sticker. Look at that little pair lifting weights. Thank you, Leslie. You're encouraging me to drink more water. I love it. That is so cute. Thank you. Queet Beat said, I never thought I would be this bothered by not being able to cruise, but after five cruises being canceled, not sure how much I can take. I know. I know it starts to make you feel crazy. And like you go through all these phases of grief and anger and resignation and acceptance, right? It's like all the phases of grief. Um, Paul said, where did you get the bronze mug? Paul, 
I'm gonna show you where I got the bronze mug. I'm gonna find it for you and I'm gonna give you a link in just a moment. Let's find it for you. I'm gonna actually, um, Paul, I'm gonna link to it in our Amazon video that we did where we talked about it. It is right here. It was our, it was our favorites in Cyber Mondays um, live stream. I know it's, here we go, it's coming up for you, Paul. All right, here we go, got it. It's a long link, Paul, I'm sorry about this. The mug is in here. Okay, there you go. Coming at you, Paul. Ah, Queet Beat said, what's the first thing you'll do when you get back on your first ship? I was asked this question last month, Queet Beat, and the answer is I'm going to cry. <laughs> it's, true. it's probably true. I don't, I, nothing else is likely to happen before I weep openly. So <laughs> you will be, I'm sure you'll be witnessing that. Mr. Cruise Tips TV will have a camera in my face, right? And I'll be like, ah! So that's my plan. I don't know how I'm gonna avoid that, but um, that's probably what's gonna happen. I'm an emotional gal. Um, uh, BRDR guy said, would it be worth it to sell to Antarctica but not to be able to step on land? To me it would because you do like five days of scenic sailing around the Antarctic Peninsula. So the answer would be for me, I would 100% do that. Yes, Queet beat. aw, feeling all the feelings. Yes, exactly. Mike and Cheryl said, kiss the deck and cry, 100%. Gopalsami007, hi love from India, hello, how wonderful to have you here. Thank you for joining us from India, that is so cool. Dinamo said our 40th anniversary is in 18 days. Well, happy anniversary to you guys and I hope you do something special to mark the occasion and message me a photo. I would really like that. Fallen said I'm gonna have to put the mug in my shopping cart. Yes, you sure are. It's a great mug and I'm using it for cold water but you can use it for hot beverages too. Um, I have not been using it as much for my morning coffee as I have for tea throughout the day. So it's like, I want it to stay hot. I go through my coffee a little bit more fast. So I kind of keep it in here. I really like this color though. I think it's really beautiful. It's my favorite. Brenda said, I think at this point I'll be crying when stepping off the gangway too. hundred percent. Brenda, you and I are just going to have a, a sob fest. Okay. Let's just admit it. It's going to happen. I cry just thinking about it. I can't handle it. It's Mazaria said hello from Trinidad. Hello, I am loving our international flair here tonight. This is cool. Zen Kakuji said, I definitely have been missing cruising. Recently, I've been having dreams on some really new cruise ship designs. You should draw them up and write them out and share them with us. We would love that. That is so cool. Sally said, hello from Central Washington. Exotic Central Washington, Sally. <laughs> I love it, that's awesome. So cute. Oh, Mike and Cheryl said, I hear that the cruise lines need a family of three for a test cruise. Hmm. That's another sad reality for us, Mike and Cheryl, is that we know for a fact we can't do test cruises together because no minors are allowed. So that's like, we're out, might be mama going by myself. Or maybe maybe I'll send Mr. Cruise to TV. Would you go by yourself, honey? You wouldn't do it. He's not going to do it. Nope, not going to do it. I would reluctantly do it. I was telling my husband the other day, because we, we've talked about this, and he's like, you know you'd have to go, right? And I told him, I'm like, I really, I don't like doing stuff by myself like that. I have learned enough about myself over the years that I need the yin to my yang is my husband, and I, I, he calms me very, very much. And when I get into a situation like that, I get a little high strung, and I try to get everything done, and there's nothing to calm me down, and that's not a good thing. That's Sherry unhinged, which is not good. I'm very type A. Paul Billis said, what piece on new tech devices are you tr excited to try out soon? Oh, that's a great question, Paul. Any tech stuff you're excited to try out, Mr. Chris Sips TV? Well, there were a lot of new things that came out just recently that I would love to get my hands on, but I think I'm gonna have to wait. I think the, the biggest thing that I would really love is the uh, Sony A7, 3S or yes. S3. Um, yeah, I love that thing. I, I would love to get my hands on it. But there's a, there's a lot of cheaper things out there. The, the GoPro Hero 9 is out. Ooh, um, the GoPro Insta Hero 362, 9. The Insta360, the Insta360R. Mm -hmm. There's lots of fun stuff. Mm -hmm. The Sony you were talking about, is that a mirrorless camera? Yes, it is. Okay. Fairly high-end mirrorless camera. 
Are we talking like two thousand dollars? We're talking like three, okay. three thousand more when you add some lenses or at least a lens. I just put a link into a live stream we recently did on our favorite tech, Paul. Um, and my husband talks, I think, it, Paul, I feel like you were there and you've seen this already, but if you haven't, make sure that you watch that broadcast because we show all of the computer equipment, I mean, excuse me, camera equipment, lighting, and um, audio that we use. And it was really fun. It was, it, was, it was pretty long live stream too. I think that you would love that. Oh, I know, Brenda, we could all cry together. Amen to that. Yes, Jim, he completes me. It is so true. Our personalities are very, very different, um, but I think we both feed off of each other. We need that. Um, I need his calmness, and he needs my optimism and energy, and um, I also need his realism because I tend to fly a little bit on the overly naive side, and he brings me back to life, which is really good. Flintstone 2000 said, any idea when the test cruises will start? I don't have any idea. If I had to guess, I would say January. I really don't see anything happening in December, only because I think that we've got such a, such a heavy um, influx of virus rates right now, which is kind of the problem. So yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to see an enormous amount of that stuff happening in December. Terry Falkner said, have you considered doing any all-inclusive resorts until cruising resumes? Yes. Uh, yeah, we talk about it all the time. It's just right now, it's like we've gone this long without traveling and taking any risks, right? That now to go right in the middle of flu season seems a little counterintuitive, especially because the virus rates in California are not really that great right now. Where we live, they're not bad at all. But it's like we've made it this far. What are we in such a big hurry to do? And do you guys really want to see us traveling right now? Honestly, I would like to know the answer to that. Do our 86,000 subscribers really want us traveling? Well, and there's, there's another, and I think you're kind of hinting at this, there's another thing to consider, and that is everyone around you being afraid of you now and potentially wanting you to self-quarantine. We have lots of responsibilities that that might affect. And it's- Especially it, our child. Yeah, exactly. We would have to isolate him when we got home, and he's an only child. So to isolate a little boy who's already an only child is kind of cruel. So it's been a very difficult decision for us. We want, I'm hardwired to be traveling at least four or five times a year. It's literally ripped me apart to not be able to do it. But there's, it's so complicated to travel these days. So do we personally worry about getting the virus and not recovering? Not a super, not, we don't feel super high risk. But there's so much more to it. Yeah, Flintstone 2000. I don't know about those ports in California opening. I know. Shoshana, hello from snowy Alaska. I want to be in the Caribbean too, Shoshana, and it's not even snowing where I live. I hear you. I hear you hard. Bacon Dad said, I need cruising to start up. I want to book clients' vacations, and I want to use my travel agent cruises. Amen. It's hard to be out of work, man. It is really hard to be out of work. I hear you. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of people who are saying they don't really think we should travel. Stay put, stay put wait. Yeah. I mean, I'm the one who always wants to go. He is the one who's like, wait, let's think about this. So I, I, there is, you know, it's a tough one. My friend Hai Chi is in the house. I just rebooked a cruise for October, 2021. Keep fingers crossed. Yes. I think you're going to be okay. But there's the optimist in me always. Peggy said it wouldn't be traveling anywhere. Cricket Fox said here in Australia, some cruises have been changed from international to around Australia only. I heard about that. Australia and New Zealand. You guys have the kind of the Australia New Zealand bubble too, which is really kind of cool. Hi, Tiffany. Good to see you. Um, hmm. Bear Bull Cruising said, my first cruise back will be September 2nd, 2021, a four-night cruise from San Francisco, Baja, Mexico. I will enjoy those cool animal candy straws. Bear Bull Cruising, what ship will you be on for that San Francisco Baja one. I'm curious to know. 
I know, Paul, the vaccine, it's pretty much everything right now, it seems like. So you guys, with the vaccine, though, what we're going to have to do is um, make sure that people get the second shot. Like, you got to get the booster, even if the first had. And that's, I legitimately think that's going to be a concern for a lot of people. They're going to get side effects from it, and they're not going to like it. They're not going to want to get the second one. So, Junior said, I'm just neutral. He is neutral. He doesn't, he doesn't care either way. Yeah. Oh, Bill Bayego, can we start a GoFundMe page for a group cruise? You know what, Bill? It's not about the money for the group cruise. It's about the fact that we set a goal, get to 100,000 subscribers. We got to get to that point, and then we'll do it. It'll happen. It's going to happen, my friend. We've got a plan. we got to just get there. Traveling on said, I wasn't high risk, and I was really careful. I got it from my sister-in-law. I was in the hospital for eight days. I couldn't breathe. Got it in my lungs. Take it serious. Be afraid. Yeah, and right, you hear these stories of people who really have bad experiences, even though they have perfectly good health. Thank you for sharing that with us, traveling on. I mean, you do have to be very aware and, and you know, take into consideration that, it could sideswipe you for sure. Shannon said, we're going to wait until spring 2022 to cre cruise. I think that's good. There's a tracking device in the vaccine. I don't know about that. I know my Mache Tessier said, I'm allergic to the flu shot, scared to get the COVID vaccine. I know, I know. I know, Porkins. Well, if everybody's vaccinated, the mass will go away. I know. Um, uh, thank you, Isabel. Appreciate that so much. You guys are so sweet. Oh, Jim's ready. Give me that vaccine. I'm a pin cushion. <laughs> Groom girl Bruno, I'm so hopeful that your cruise will go through on Panorama. I know that they've canceled a lot of them. I know, Michelle. Haters are going to hate, but that's okay. I know. You just don't know, right? Um, Steve, how your body is going to react. BRD guy seven would junior editor enjoy a Disney cruise. Hope to go on one before our daughter gets too cool. Yeah, he would, but it's not, he's not really that big of a Disney kid or anything like that. He's just not really ever been to a lot of theme parks. Doesn't really care for him that much. So he'd love it. I'm sure, but he likes every cruise. I mean, one of his favorite cruises was a, you know, 12 night princess cruise around Asia, which you would think he would be bored, but he wasn't. Paul Billis said, do, do many Cruise pools have diving boards. I can't think of any that have diving boards, Paul. Anybody know of any? So Peggy, two part. That means you, you know, you really have to stick around. You can't travel for a while. You gotta, you gotta really put in the time. Hmm. Um. <clears throat> All right, guys. Okay, we need to wrap it up because guess what happens in twelve minutes, y'all? In twelve minutes, we're heading over for the after party. In case you just arrived, the after party link is in the chat now. Welcome Jacob, Jacob Ponder first. Did Jacob subscribe? Oh, hey, Jacob, you're a new subscriber. When you subscribe live, you get a little fun little crabby guy on the, on the um, screen. Very cool, welcome. Anyway, the after party, guys, is starting at 6 p.m. Pacific. We're gonna go talk fun stocking stuffers over on Amazon. If you wanna come cheer us on, it's a very easy transition over there. Make sure you unmute when you get over there. And just like here, there is a chat area. A lot of people here, like Mike and Cheryl, and Paul, and Karen and Gord, and Michelle, they've been cheering us on over there, and they can tell you the chat is much more quiet. So you will get one-on-one -on -one interaction with us in that chat, guaranteed. At least so far, that's how it's been. So it's really fun. It's very intimate. You got to check it out. It's great. So come join us over there in a few minutes. Joe Mock, I'm going to close out the show with this comment from Joe who says, the diving board is also known as the gangplank. Who those, for those who cheat on the drink package. <laughs> Joe, you are so funny. Karen and Gord said, see you on Amazon. Ah, Bear Bowl Cruising, Carnival Miracle. Thank you for sharing that with me. Yes, Isabel, the after party is on Amazon. We're going live over there in 10 minutes. So pop on over. I just put the link in there for you. I hope that you and your wife will be able to cruise soon too, Michael. Okay, guys. And yes, John B., thank you for being my chef consultant over there. We'll do another cooking one soon. I need to think about what we're going to do, though. It should be fun. Um, but thank you, guys. Y'all are the best. We will see you next Wednesday night, maybe again sooner. I'll let you know if that changes. Fun theme stuff coming soon. This was just the intro. Have a wonderful remainder of your week. And until next time, we'll see you on the high seas. Bye. Cruise around the week. <laughs>
me to 